theater controversy in Turlock. A high school musical canceled after school leaders decided the content was too mature. Now, students and staff are speaking out with the support of some Broadway stars. And CBS 13's Laura Hayfley is in Turlock with the show shut down after just one performance. Laura? For months, signs like these could be seen around Turlock advertising for the local high school musical. But after one performance, it was canceled, and now the community is demanding answers. For two years, Evan Espinosa was kept away from the stage. I miss her so much. Until opening night of Turlock High School's performance of Be More Chill, a show about high school students coming of age. See, there's this person that you never knew that well. And we did an outstanding job. But then, bad news. The Turlock Unified School District canceled the show. I just kind of ended up bursting into tears, you know, after being secluded from drama for so long and then just have it taken away from me again was really heartbreaking. The district tells CBS 13 they canceled performances after receiving concerns from community members about the show's mature content. It was advertised as mature from the beginning. Now students and local officials are questioning the administration. It's about a, a kid pressured into taking a drug and he at some point is having to you know, choose between the cool that's prescribed and the, you know, who he inherently is. Turlock City Council member Andrew Nostrati disappointed but not surprised by the school's decision. It, Turlock has a history of it. We are afraid of art. We're afraid of things that challenge status quo. The cancellation even getting Broadway's attention. The creators and stars of Be More Chill taking to social media to support Turlock students. Do you know who this guy is? They worked for months on the thing and it deserves to have a run. Ah, Joe! Joe Iconis wrote the music. It makes me so happy after having a rough weekend. Um, yeah, I'm just, that's so cool. <laughs> The school district tells us there was never a conversation between the show's director and administration about the show's content, something that's supposed to happen. We did follow up with the administration to ask why that conversation didn't occur over the course of a two-month rehearsal period. We did not immediately hear back.